Also in Afghanistan, NATO says insurgents killed four coalition soldiers today in two separate actions. The nationalities of the soldiers were not immediately released. Our Seth Doan is in Afghanistan and was embedded for the past week with U.S. troops. He joins us now from Kandahar Airfield. Seth, how was news of the Chinook crash taken there? Well, Anthony, it is a devastating blow, both emotionally and psychologically. We were at a couple of different bases over the weekend, and where there were television sets, they were on, tuned into news channels. People were looking for any sort of information, and it was, of course, the only thing troops were talking about. Also, from an operational perspective, at least from what we could see, there were bits of changes as well. I was riding on one of those CH-47 Chinook helicopters today. I took the very same ride across Kandahar in a Chinook a week ago and actually fell asleep while I was on the helicopter. Today, there was absolutely no sleeping at all. I was sitting next to an a Army aviator who told me that the pilot was trying to make us a very difficult target to hit. He was flying incredibly low, sometimes just 100 to 150 feet off of the ground. We were going at about 140 miles per hour. You would look out the side of the window and you would see only sky, and a second later, you would look down and you would see the tops of roofs. We would hug the sides of mountains and then we would come careening down over villages. Definitely a harrowing journey and all to try to be a very difficult target to hit. So that sounds terrifying and I understand you were with a company that lost a soldier? Yes, I was, and I was actually with the commander, Colonel Mintz, of the 132 Infantry when he got word that one of his soldiers had died. He told me it felt like a punch in the stomach, just a, just a gut reaction. And I looked around, I was in an armored truck at the time, and there was just this blank look, this shell-shocked look. First of all, people were trying to figure out what had happened, who had been killed, and then, of course, there was that could this have been me look certainly devastating but all of the troops i spoke with seemed to say look we mourn but we remember we still have a mission and now they felt emboldened to even work harder toward that mission because of the soldier's death seth doan in afghanistan stay safe seth